Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift video and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a full beginner's guide to Echo. So I'm going to explain to you guys how his abilities work, how to combo his abilities, how, like some weird secrets about his abilities, how to use his abilities in different kinds of ways, etc, etc. I'm also going to be explaining to you guys how to build Echo. There are timestamps in the description to skip to whatever. So let's talk about Echo. This is a very interesting champion. This is like an assassin champion. So first of all, his passive. Every third attack or damaging ability against the same target deals an additional amount of damage. So, one, two, boom. That's it, simple. You can also use abilities. One, two, three, boom. Proto Belt doesn't work with this. Uh, this does work in League of Legends, but unfortunately not in Wilders. I already tried. So, that's it. Boom, boom, boom. And you can stack it on multiple targets at the same time as you can see one two three stacking it on this target and then fin proccing it on this target as well another thing to know so you'll deal damage after you hit three uh, after you hit three attacks but if the target is an enemy champion echo also gains bonus movement speed so if you do this against the scuttle crap i cannot find the scuttle crap right now which is kind of funny but whatever if you do it against anything so like a blue buff one two three you deal bonus damage but nothing else but if you do it against a champion one two three you get the movement speed so that's what's important about it and the higher level you get the higher the movement speed is as well first ability also quite simple you throw a shuriken so as you can see boom and boom it's a shuriken so you throw it and then it expands and it comes back so there's a few key attributes that you need to know about the shuriken hitting an enemy makes it deal damage 215 and in the comeback, it deals damage as well. Keep in mind, when it comes back, it deals more damage. So, um, you throw it at an enemy, it deals magic damage. But when it comes back, it deals more damage. Also, it can hit multiple enemies. Boom, boom. And hitting multiple enemies on the path back, yes, deals the damage. As you can see, deals the bonus damage to all of them. The 361. So, keep that in mind. Like, it can go through all of the enemies. So, when you throw it in a team fight. Um, boom boom it can go through a lot of enemies another thing about this ability um, you can combo this ability in many ways but i'm not going to explain that to you guys quite yet it slows like when you hit an enemy if you hit him close or far it instantly creates the slowing aura and the slow is very big like very very big um this ability obviously also works with the passive so first ability basic attack passive procced you see so any damaging ability works with the passive next up is the second ability so it's a, it's a big read, but let me just briefly explain it to you. The passive, you your attacks, your basic attacks against low health enemies do an additional amount of damage. So first of all, what does low health enemies means mean? It's so it doesn't say exactly how low the enemy has to be, but it is around twenty or twenty five percent. So let me just show you briefly. I'm attacking this enemy right now. As you can see, my basic attacks are not dealing bonus damage yet, but I'm gonna yeah. There you go. Five hundred. Look at it. Five hundred ninety eight. Six hundred fifty. Seven hundred four. Boom, boom, boom. These are basic attacks that are dealing like seven hundred eighty three damage. Okay. Keep that in mind. Like, look, basic attack on this guy deals fifty five damage, and on this guy it deals seven hundred and eighty three bonus damage. So what does this mean? If an enemy is under 20% health, your attacks do a significant amount more damage. It's a really, really big amount. And it especially counts in the late game. Essentially, in the late game, if an enemy is under 20% HP, you can just basic attack him to death with like two or three attacks. Now, that is the passive part about the second ability. There's also this active part, as you can see. You throw it on the ground. Boing! Doesn't do anything now, does it? No, it does. Let me explain. First of all, you throw down this chronosphere, okay? It needs like 1.5 seconds to charge up, and then when it is charged up, it slows the enemy by a certain amount, by 40%, as you can see. So when enemies walk through this thing, now they get now, sorry, they get slowed by 40%. That is not really a big number, right? Now the real power comes when you actually walk into it. So after it this thing is shot at it, boom. If you walk into it, you stun all of the enemies that are in it. So as you can see, when I walk into it, when the ball drops, like you see that ball that Echo throws, look at it. Boing. And then when you walk into it, um, I walked into it a little bit too late, but when you walk into it, 
After the ball drops, you stun the enemy. And yes, you can also flash into it if you have to, like this, or whatever you want to do. Another thing, it gives you a barrier. When you walk into it, it gives you a barrier, which kills with your magic damage. So, when you throw it down, and then you decide to engage, you not only stun the, all of the enemies around you, you also get a barrier. Next up is the third ability, that you dash in a target direction and Echo's next attack within 3 seconds gains 250 range. By the way, before I continue talking, make sure you give this video a like. You know what, if this video reaches 2000 likes, I'll make an Echo gameplay video as well. I'll just learn the champion fully and make a gameplay video as well. So, what this does is you dash to a, uh, to a target direction, boom, it's just a simple dash. And then your next, like your one next attack gives you bonus range and it causes you to blink to the enemy target. So let me show you, you dash, boom, your attack will blink you to the enemy. Keep in mind, this dash can go through, can go through very thick walls. So like if you have to go through a very, very thick wall, you can just do it with the dash. So, you know, if you want to escape, boom, easy escape. Also, the dash can go through a wall. Let me show you the second dash, sorry. Boom, you see? This cannot go through as thick of walls, but it can also go through some walls. As you can see, if you want to escape, boom. Um, a good thing to know is, wait, let me show you. Boom, you can also dash to honey fruit. You can also dash to, to uh, enemy, you can also dash to enemy wards. You can also dash to this thing. Boom, you see, you can dash to a lot of different things. Whatever you can target, you can just dash to. So if you want to escape, you know, if you really want to escape, boom, attack the honey fruit if you have to, and you'll dash to it. <clears throat> um the ultimate so th this is this is where the fun starts okay this is where the fun starts you, as you guys can see there's like a there's like an echo shadow walking behind me you see it's like uh he's walking behind me when i flash he also flashes he does whatever i do look at it boom boom when i click on my ultimate zoop, you travel in time and you go right back to you you and to be exact you'll go back to yourself 3.5 seconds ago so this is me 3.5 seconds ago, and if I want to go back, boom, I will go back. So there's a few key attributes to this one as well. So first of all, you heal up, and the healing is based on how much AP you have. So as you can see, there's like a flat healing of 500 right now, which is with full build echo. Next up, the healing is increased by 3% per 1% of health lost within 3.5 seconds. I'm going to make this simple for you guys, no mathematics. If you take a lot of damage within 3.5 seconds... And then teleport to yourself, the healing becomes much more. As you saw, that was a 1,100 healing. Next thing to understand about the ultimate. It is a stasis enchant. So when you use it at the right moment, so when the last killing blow of the turret goes to you, it's a stasis enchant, you see? So you'll block it just like the stasis does, and you won't take the damage, which makes Echo a very good turret diving champion, as you can see. You'll just dive, 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 boom, boom, and then, boom, you survive! Oh, you, you, okay. <laughs> okay, I, I, I made it out of it. Next thing to know about the ultimate. Upon arrival, Echo deals a lot of damage. So as you can see, if you keep track of this guy, if you keep track of yourself, boom, you deal a load of damage. And a quick tip for you guys to understand how big this range truly is, it is just as big as your second ability, as you can see. So for you to, like if you're walking, you kind of wanna, kind of wanna decide, okay, should I ult or should I not ult? You can just kind of go back and forth with your second ability just to see, okay, how big is the range to get the hang of it and then to decide whether or not you wanna ult. So now let's talk about the combos because there is a load of combos for this champion. First of all, these are the obvious ones. Boom, flash first ability, you can combo it. You can also do flash with your third ability, as you can see. If you want to dash super far, boom, boom. You see that? So, like, if you want to, if you don't want to show yourself and you want to engage on the enemy all the way from here, third ability flash, basic attack. It will blink you right to the enemy. The reason that this works so well is because you can just combo this. So, you can combo the third ability plus the flash to extend the dash range. So, third ability, and then you do the flash instantly to extend the range and then you do the ranged basic attack one more time oh oops wait a second like that you see so another thing that you can do is 
So this is like a this is the basic combo of echo which you want to be using in the lane. So when you're matching up against an enemy that you can outrate, a basic combo is third ability, another time third ability, and then first ability, and then basic attack. This is to proc your passive and electrocute. So let me show it to you fast. Boom. You see that? Exactly that. If you want to be more careful, what you can also do, third ability, basic attack, first ability, and run away. This can also work if the enemy is very immobile. The reason is because your first ability slows the enemy by a lot. So it works if you do third ability, basic attack, first ability, and run away if the enemy doesn't have any dashes. Because your first ability is automatically going to go right through the enemy. Um, so a basic combo as well to proc your passive is basic attack, first ability, basic attack. Or basic attack, first ability, third ability. Like there is multiple ways to proc your passive, of course, but these are like some basic ways. Um, so another thing to know, this one is going to be, a, you know, these are going to be a bit more advanced. It's comboing your second ability. So you throw it down. By the way, a thing to know about the second ability, the enemies cannot actually see the second ability up until this moment right there. You see when it becomes blue, so enemy cannot see it, cannot see it. Now they can. So that's a thing to note. Another thing to note about the second ability, these are these are some advanced tips, but I'm gonna tell them to you guys anyways. So first of all, they can't see them up until the blue moment, right now. Secondly, or they can hear them, however. They can't see it, but they can hear that you're using it. Because as you can hear, see, you heard a But when you're in a bush and use your second ability, the enemies cannot hear it this is huge because the ways that you need to combo your second uh, your second ability is more more often than not with your third ability so you use your second ability engage with your third ability and then you fight the enemy and do whatever combos you want now a more advanced combo okay let's say you're getting chased and you want to be you want to re-engage because that's the power of echo let's say you're like super low we all know that the ultimate heals you back up and you're getting chased so i'm getting chased i'm getting chased by this dummy right there look at it boom so what is this combo about you're getting chased you put your second ability down you re-engage with your ultimate and what's going to happen is because you're standing within the second ability, you're going to be stunning the enemy while you're re-engaging. This is you. So you walk away and boom, stun. And then whatever combos you want to do, you do. Right? Like that's how it works. This is like a super, super big combo. Um, the other thing is, by the way, this is like how to land your first ability more reliably. You get movement speed from your passive. Basic attack. First ability and then the movement speed allows you to follow with the enemy. So um, basic attack, first ability, basic attack, movement speed and you walk around the enemy and wherever the enemy goes you just follow them. Basic attack, first ability, basic attack, movement speed and wherever you feel like you have to go your first ability is gonna hit because you have the movement speed. Another thing that you can do is when you throw your first ability you can also flash after or while it's coming back to you. So it's coming back to me and I have to hit an enemy here. Boom. You just do it like that. Um, a few things to a few things to understand as well. <clears throat> this is this is I'm gonna show you guys a really cool trick right here. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna reset my level and I'm gonna make myself level five right here. Let me this is this is this is epic stuff, okay? So as you can see, there is no ultimate, there is no trill. The enemies cannot see a trill, neither can I. But let me show you guys something. When I upgrade to ult, boom, there he appears. Now, what is the potential of this? Let me show you guys. So reset level, do it again. Let me show you guys the potential of this. When you reach level five as echo, never ever upgrade your ultimate. This is an advanced tip, but if you get good enough at this, you'll understand why. So let me show you why. Let me just show you why. Boom. One, two, three and a half. Boom! Ultimate. And the enemy will not see it coming. Because they won't see your after image. They won't see your after image. Let me show you one more time to exactly explain to you what is happening right here. Oh god, I just accidentally upgraded my ult. Let me show you exactly what I was talking about. So right now I'm just echo. They can't see my ult or anything, right? But my ultimate exists. It exists because when I take it, one, two, three, when I take it, it's right here. 
and you can fully engage instantly. This is huge. This is huge because the enemies, when you reach level five, they will never ever see it coming. They will never ever see your after image. By the way, another thing, when you're in a bush, the enemies cannot actually see your after image only when they have vision on you. Another thing, there's a few more things. I'm gonna be spilling it all on you guys. Um, if I take away the fog of war. So the second ability gives you vision. Boom, you see? The blue part gives you vision. So when you want to see whether or not the enemy is doing the dragon, for example, you look, they're doing it, boom, you engage and you stun. Now let me show you another cool thing. I accidentally clicked flash, but there it is. I just shopped and I teleported back. So let's say, let's just say, you're fighting right here, but you're you're at a low amount of wait, let's just say you're fighting And you're at a low amount of HP you decide to go back You decide to sell an item. I'm just doing whatever right now You buy a new item and you teleport right back and you're gonna be healing up. You see this? I just teleported right back to my location This is another thing that echo can do and the way that you can make this easier for yourself by the way is if you sell it, so if you have a pre, um, um, how do I say this? Uh, a pre-ordered item, yes, that's the word. So if you have a pre-ordered item, and like, you know, you wanna, you're gonna backport. So let's say I'm backporting. This this is for the noobs. This is gonna make it easy for you. If you're a real pro, you shop like a chat. You just buy the pre-order and you teleport right back. It's gonna be really easy to do. You can even change your wards or anything like that. But what I recommend you to do, go back heal up for like three seconds you know like one two three and then you go back you know you back get some mana and then come back to the fight another thing that works by the way is stasis so second ability stasis boom so if you're in a very rough position what you can do second ability stasis just make sure you're within the second ability and you're going to be stunning everyone within this ability everyone so there is there is a few more things about echo but these are the main fundamental things to understand um you're gonna have a lot of fun playing this champ because there are so many things that you can do like i didn't explain for example the good uses of his ultimate because you can turret dive you know in team fights i just explained the basics of echo right now i'll very likely make a full echo guide or, or a full echo video very soon but now let's talk about how to build echo keep in mind echo came out today so this build is subject to change but the build that i came up with right now is something like ludens echo lich bane rabbit's death cap you can also get a rabbit's death cap second item if you want more burst damage void staff and then situational item crystal reflector is great but it's just situational infinity orb is good too whatever you feel like you need for the boots you go for ionic boots of lucidity and then you either go for a protobelt or a stasis i love stasis because you can do the combo with the second ability but protobelt is also good if you want to be more aggressive and then for the runes yet again you know he just came out so and new runes just came out so this is subject to change electrocute is perfect because you can proc it so easily especially in the lane with your basic attack first ability and then another basic attack second rune you go for gathering storm it stacks up beautifully to the late game for echo and allows you to do some crazy one shots in the late game third rune is completely situational whatever you feel like you need and a fourth rune i recommend hunter genius hunter genius is really really good for echo because it allows you to spam your abilities like crazy now for your response you go for flash and ignite so that is it about the echo guide guys let me know in the comments what you think and uh, yeah i'll see you all in the next wild drift video bye bye